Welcome back to Amnesia, The Subconscious Trials Part 4 or 5. Or maybe 6. Nah, I doubt that. But anyway, we're now... Oh yeah, this hole and it's like... Oh, don't go down that hole! Let's see. Subject F28 Dialogue 7. Oh god! The, con the sequence has collapsed. It's too late now. I wasn't fast enough. The darkness has consumed the simulation entirely, creating the nightmarish hell. Any sense of conscious and the sane world have fallen through to, my, through to my subconscious now, and are lost. This land is built upon my deepest fears and worst memories alone. There is no time left. If I stay in here any longer, my mind will be lost and never be able to return. I know how to get back, but I must go now. Wish me luck. But he warned me not to go down here, so let's not go down here. I think in my previous playthrough I was capable of going to the other side. <laughs> but it's locked. Hachikide! Whee! <gasps> Lantern. It will be dangerous to continue without a light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Hello! How do you do? Some ghosts. I'm not sure uh, what this means. The dude means uh, it's a maze, that's for sure. In the box. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think. I, I think I shouldn't watch them too long. That's the whole thing. But they're everywhere. Bugger off. Up. Holy sh! What the hell happened? Fuck! <gasps> they they bloody teleport you. Bugger off! Bugger off! Bugger off! Bugger off! Jeez! Oh, Stay out of the dark. Yeah, I know I have to stay out of the dark, but they lantern doesn't have much oil. What am I supposed to do here then? Yeah, that's the problem. I do get uh, oil when I die again. Alright, alright, alright. Just have to be quick. Bugger off. Alright. Another tin bar. No, fuck off, 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 fuck off. Ah, I swear, why are you doing this? But where's the way out then? I already got that one, did you know that? I don't... I don't think I'm supposed to be... Okay, let, okay if I... Okay, okay, I see what happens. Okay, okay. Uh, gee. Okay, so you have to dodge those dudes. Position. So don't walk into those dudes. That is a bad thing. Oh shit, okay, I have to find one more. Okay, that's for sure. One more in the box somewhere. Fuck off. Although I do say that I'm lost. This is an... Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Pretty original. Maybe it's somewhere down here. I have to be quite fast. Oh, well, never mind. I have unlimited oil. <laughs> I don't need to worry about anything anymore. I'm sure... Okay, I got that one there. 
kist ik teleport, maar ik ben niet zeker of ik in de tour upstairs of de tour downstairs. I win. Now I at least got the the, the, the purpose of it. Okay. Am I upstairs again? I thought I was already downstairs. Oh wait, no, never mind. Ah, there it is. Okay. I think that thing was upstairs somewhere. Right, monsieur? No, no, no. Uh. Shut up. Ooh. Oh, I was there. I was almost there. No. Hell. Crying out loud. Okay. Ah, shit. I always got ambushed by that dude. Once, no, 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 Fuck off. Okay. I'm upstairs again. Bug off. Let's find that last. Uh, let's find that candle place. I'm not sure where it is. That will. F uh. Goodbye, place. The attendant informed Alan that Jennifer would live, though she was bleeding internally and had broken at least a dozen bones. A momentarily lapse of focus was all it took, and although the outcome was far less tragic than had he had anticipated, the event would alter the man forever. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what kind of trial we will be having now. If it loads. Come on. Finally. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's walking back and forth. Shut the fuck up! Don't say another goddamn word! What the hell is going on here? First that prison, then an infested shithole with some demented fuck running around it, then that that demon thing that was trying to kill me! You think I'm just gonna sit around and pretend like this isn't happening? No! I am done with this! I don't know what you thought would happen when you put me on whatever this shit is, but it's not anything like you explained! This is a fucking nightmare! This is inhumane! How can you expect to release something like this to the public? M Mr. Torrance, I, I, don't, I don't think you want to do this to yourself. No, listen, you have to go through with this, okay? You have to, you're all Run. Run. Stop. Run. Run now. Yeah. Mr. Tor, stop. Don't do this. Okay, run now. Run where? Let's go, huh? Excusez-moi. 
Am I crawling? Stand. Uh, I might be crawling. I don't know. Okay, run, 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 well, run, run. Subject F28 Dialog 8. Look, I have to write this fast, but that server error I was talking about before, I remember how to cause it now. Pain is the key, most uh, specifically self harm. Pain is viewed as such a negative emotion in your mind that the concept of intentionally inflicting it on yourself sets off a million red lights in your conscious mind, creating a surge of activity and making it function much faster and stronger momentarily. This obviously counteracts the, uh, counteracts the effects of DCO2 and hopefully should neutralize its power for a brief second. If I can reactivate my conscious mind for a short amount of time by doing this, it will naturally try to connect to the surface since it strives to inhabit the same entity as the subconscious mind. Which will force have a force mind out of the server momentarily for the brief second the pain lasts. During this time, have a force conscious mind should be stuck out in limbo between the server and his body, weakening his connection with the server. If we can make enough of these bursts fast enough, we should be able to disconnect him from the server completely and have complete control over the simulation. Keep in mind that this is all theoretical. I'm basing this off what I remember of how this all works. I'm not sure if my subconscious mind alone is strong enough to force him out. There are a million things that could go wrong here. It's incredibly exper experimental technology and performing a maneuver like this will be risky. It's the only option I have. Alright. Let's do it. Ah! -ah. What the hell happens? those shadow things, and all the monsters and shit. Yes, now, they're all gone. You see, now that I'm in control, your mind wants to be too secure and safe. The people's nightmares go away. Wait, now hold on a second. How did you even get here? What is going on? Well, you see, as I'm sure you figure out from him, I've essentially forced him out of the server and tested him. Wait, that was you writing all those notes? Why are you still here? That's a long story. So what? When I forced him out, you joined up and took control? Precisely. I needed your help to get him out. And once you did, I was able to join up to the server. As I was saying before now, So that means it's over now. No more trials. Can I just please go home already? Well, not yet. Not yet. At least. You don't have to do any more testing. But unfortunately, the only way out of here is through the portal in the last trial. Now that I'm in control, though, I can shorten the path there. I'm afraid that's the best I can do for right now. But we have to hurry, Alan. He's not gone permanently. If he's able to get the server up again soon enough, then... Well, there'll be a lot of trouble. Wait, wait, don't start with any of that yet. You haven't even told me who you are. How'd you even get here in the first place? And why are you helping me? Alan, look, there's not time for this, do you understand? We're on a timer here, we can't be wasting... No, stop it! I'm fucking sick of no one explaining to me what's going on! None of this is making sense! I've been trapped in here for hours, and I still don't understand what's happening. Look, I don't want to be in this situation either, but I need to understand what's going on before I'm going to do anything. Can I go now? Good. Hey, this is thing. Boop, boop, boop. 
sure you're ready for all of this. I don't care. Don't spare me any of the details. Well then. The year is 2008, 20 years ago. The first effects of the recession were finally starting to become apparent. Stocks were falling, companies were going up. I'm sure you remember back then, right? One of the many companies affected was the Avast Corporation, a small scale medical company that expectations way too large to become good. In an attempt to stay in business and become a major company, they started a search. Put out an advertisement calling all scientists and medical engineers, offering a large sum of money for new and revolutionary medication. They needed something to really shock the public and pay attention. One of the few people to take interest in this offer was the young, fresh out of college Hank Hackett. Having studied the conscious and subconscious mind in college, he believed he knew how to manipulate the mind so that they could fully use their subconscious. Side effect 
very testing facility I helped to build, with no recollection of who I was or why I was there. The only info he gave me was that I was known as Subject F-28 and that I was partaking in preliminary tests for a new experimental drug in CO2. He must have given me something to make me forget so I wouldn't put up a fight. Because, to my knowledge, that was the only identity I had. But as I went, things started coming back to me. I remember who Dr. Hackerberg was. I remember helping him create DCO2. More importantly, I remember how to force his consciousness out, and I tried my best to do so. But you see, without the assistance of another mind there to force him out, I wasn't able to weaken his connection enough, causing our minds to melt together into one consciousness. And we both tried to enter at the same time. It's all very complicated, very finicky technology. Even now, it's still a very experimental concept meaning that issues like this weren't too unexpected. But something about our consciousness forcing into the same entity all at once caused it to malfunction. And I've been stuck in his mind ever since, leaving my body comatose without a mind's mind. Anyway, as you can imagine, it didn't take long for the police to arrive and realize what happened. People were reported missing, and an investigation was started. Within 20 hours of his takeover, they arrived on the scene. Dead and a conclusive cause of death. The brain just shut off and never turned back on. The autopsy showed incredibly high amounts of adrenaline shortly before they passed. Three were found alive, but two mentally scarred and more Thirty were found shot through the head, lined up in the lobby with autopsy showing that they had been given some sort of sedative. Hackerford was put on death row, of course, with a 25-year wait time, but as I'm sure you figured out, the story doesn't end with no, not with someone like Hackerford, especially after all he had been through. He'd sacrificed everything to make his invention see the light of day, and he wasn't going to stop there. So he started planning an escape, and even after completely losing his mind, he was still one of the smartest people I ever met. If he wanted to escape, he was going to escape. It was as simple as that. So that leads me to where we were yesterday. Yeah. For 20 years, he was finally dead. And while the specific details of his escape aren't necessary, all you need to know is that this was one of the most intricate things I have ever witnessed. I didn't expect any less. He's undoubtedly a genius, regardless of how mentally unstable he might be. So he got out without anyone taking notice. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so this is where we stand. You have to understand this is something that's bigger than you and me. This is something that has ruined countless lives and will continue to do so until the psychopath is stopped. Holy shit. That's just... Wow. You know, it's a bit much to take in at once. You can even begin to imagine what it would be like hearing all of this for the first time. Wait, so... You're saying that you've been stuck in Happerford's mind for the last 20 years? 
And that you planned this whole escape out? What with me forcing him out and all? Well, I had all the time in the world. I figured I might as well make sure there was no chance he could get away if he attempted this again. God, this is all so fucked. I just... He seemed so normal before. I mean, how could I have known all that? Shit, I'm sorry for getting into this. I should have just ignored his call and gone back to sleep. No, no, there's nothing you could have done to stop this. Even if you had said no, you would have kept calling people until someone said yes. The only way he's going to stop is if we destroy everything. His lab, his equipment, his research, everything. Of course. It's just, um... Well, he can't come back, right? Well, like I said, it should take him a long time to be able to reconnect to the server because of the damage he caused. But if he can get it functioning properly again, there's a potential he could get back in. I've got just as much control as him. If he tries to push back in, I'll put up as much of a fight as I can to keep him out. Look, I know you've probably lost hope being stuck in here for so long. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to end all this, all right? You just can't lose faith in this. We're going to get through this. Well, I'm starting up the wharf now, so I suggest we get the show on the road. It's a straight shot for the exit from here, Alan. We're almost at the end of this, I promise. All right. Experience was like falling almost through notably slower. As the substance caused through these veins, his mind started to numb, letting it wander from the world in the con of the conscious to the one of wonder and mystery, the world of the subconscious mind. Already then. <clears throat> Not an explanation though. <laughs> like straight up like 10 to 15 minutes Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Before I let you in, I need to go. You might see some odd stuff. You see when you release that shockwave of activity it affects the entire system, not just half of the time. In turn, you shock which can cause some very, some very unusual things to happen, in my experience. It can affect the entire architecture of the shop, making it twist and support. Look, look, I think I can handle it. Just send me in. Well, all right then. We'll bring you in now. All right. Oh. Oh shit, boy. Oh. Can we escape this nightmare? And can we stop this psychopath? We'll see that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers.